Grade 8 math number 6.3b, compare a table of values to a graph. We can use tables, graphs, and equations to compare functions. We can compare graphs to graphs, equations to equations, tables to equations like we did in the last video. And now we're going to do tables to graphs. We can also do graphs to descriptions. And we can see if they're linear or nonlinear, proportional or nonproportional, and we can compare values. We can compare slopes. The table of values in the graph show how many words per minute Bob and Dave type correctly on a typing test. For both men, the relationship between words typed correctly in time is linear. So here's Bob's typing test in a table and Dave's typing test on a graph. We can take a look at Bob's typing test. Here is the minutes, that's x, and the words that he typed correctly is y, that's his input and his output. And we can see Dave's typing test. Here's his x, his minutes, and here's his y, his words that he typed correctly. And we can see the plotted points, and those would represent these ordered pairs that we were able to pull from the graph. See? So the first thing we're going to do is find Bob's unit rate. How much does he do in one unit of time or one minute? We use ordered pairs from his table and the slope formula. So we pulled some ordered pairs from this table and we used that slope formula. So we chose 30 and 2 and 60 and 4. Okay, so we're going to do slope formula which is y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. 30 and 2 are the y1 x1 and 60 over 4 is the y2 x2. See, make sure the x2 and y2 are first. Okay, make sure the they're on this side and the y1, x1 is on this side, all right? So we do 60 take away 30 and we get 30, and 4 take away 2, we get 2. We simplify the 30 over the 2 and we get 15. The slope is 15. M equals 15. That means Bob's unit rate is 15 words per minute, okay? So now we find Dave's unit rate. And we use ordered pairs from the points on the graph. And we remember to choose the points from left to right for x and y. So we can't choose this one as 1 and then this one as 2. We have to go left to right. So we chose this one as x1 and y1 and this one is x2 and y2. All right? So we got 3, 60 and 6, 120. We put the y2 and x2 first and then the y1 and x1 second and Here's the y2, here's the y1, we do 120 minus 60, that's 60, and 6 minus 3 is 3. See, 6 minus 3. And we get 60 over 3, which simplifies to 20. That means Dave's unit rate is 20 words per minute. Well, Bob's was 15 words per minute. So when we compare the unit rates, we can see that 15 is less than 20. So Dave types 5 more correct words per minute than Bob. See? So we were able to pull the information from this table and from that graph as ordered pairs and we were able to use the slope formula to pull the slope and compare them. See? We compared slopes. Alright, in the next video, 6.3c, we're going to compare graphs to descriptions. Okay? I hope to see you there. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like my videos and keep your chin up. We're going to be fine. We're going to get through this. There's lots of videos I'm making on functions. So you should be okay when we're all done, okay? See you next video. Bye.